Welcome back, my crazy frog. So we're in today for another fabrication video, and this one, instead of being about the car, well, it's gonna be about screen printing. So without spending $500, $600 or more, I just picked up all the scrap metal I had laying around, and we're gonna build a four color screen printing press. I didn't remember the moon being that far away. Let's start chopping up some metal and recycling some garbage. <laughs> So this is what we kind of have laid out. This rack thing was an old uh, clothing rack or something that my neighbor had in the junk pile back there. So I just picked that out. It's gonna be a nice stand for it. So if you guys, if you guys ever seen a screen printing rack, you basically have one or more tables around it. And then you have a merry-go-round with all your screens going around it and then you can just line them all up and then slap them all down at the exact same spot where you set them up. So before we do that, to figure out the height that we're gonna need here, I'm gonna need to make my shirt table. So now we're gonna use this old bed frame thing that we picked up on the side of the road. We're gonna cut that up and then we'll make it uh, printing table. So that's going to be our table. Now I'm just going to go around, grind up all the corners, figure out how to hold it square, and then we're going to weld this up. died but I didn't so now we're back we have our frame it's not gonna go like that it's gonna go somewhere around here so uh, I'm gonna frame that up we'll catch back up on the next step All right, 
So I got the framing of the printing table done. So now that we have the table basically set up, it's gonna be time to start mocking up the clamping system. So basically this clamp has to be in the center and I need to tie it into the spinning head tube with brackets that's going that are gonna allow it to flip up and down. Alright, so this is video evidence just in case I die. Alright, so while our 3D printer is printing three more of these, um, well this is what it is. It's just an end piece for this one inch square tubing and there's a hole through it, we're going to bolt it in and it just slips in and works as a pivot point using old skate bearings. We're all about recycling here so might as well keep the vibe going. So now we're going to put this in here, measure out the distance we need in between this and the head tube, and we're going to use this flat bar and make ourselves some bracket to hold in, in place so we can pivot on it. <coughs> Failure. So when I designed these plastic ends, I didn't have my hardware picked out. And, as you can see, there's not much of a bolt sticking out. So, since I don't have much hardware on hand, we're still going to use this one. But what I'm going to do, instead of printing more of these, I'm going to remodel it and make it thinner. So that we can use more bolt and take up less space on the head tube. So, uh... Back to designing and printing more of these. Alright. It is a new day and we made a few adjustments to our design. Well, we actually redesigned the whole thing. But as you can see, it is now slimmer. It looks better. And hopefully it'll work better. So I made it this time that we're going to have enough room with this bolt. To attach it with the two brackets on each side but now the problem is with this new shape in there the bracket was too big so I'm gonna take these brackets put them back together and we're gonna do a little bit of readjustment on that to hopefully fit it on there and then once we figure out these ones well we can just hit copy and then paste and we'll have all our brackets done. So I got a little bit of cleaning done on these 
and uh, it's time to try them out. I'm gonna have to put some spacers in there and uh, luckily, well, skate wheels usually have spacers in them and since these are skate bearings, I'm just gonna take the washers that came out of the wheels with them and slap them in here and we'll get that full bearing motion again. But for now, it's a little jammy. So uh, now we can copy these brackets. All right, so now that we have this mocked up, we're just gonna put this aside for now and uh, we're gonna fix up on this bottom end here. So this was just for mock-up purposes. I don't know if you guys see the big gaps here, but that's kind of shameful. So uh, I'm gonna cut the tacks off, cut this tube back square down, and then we'll drop it in place and possibly weld it in for good. <laughs> Should be good enough. All right, well that was our last set of bracket being all ground down and now it's gonna be time to take these tabs and I'm going to bolt them to these two bends and then it's gonna be time to tack them up onto the head tube. All right, so I made this little jig right here with two side piece and that's holding it perfectly center. We're gonna call it perfect. And uh, now I'm just gonna hold this up to where I need it, snap it in place. another bolt and another two and send her out this way. Make sure nothing moves with the heat afterwards. Then we can move on to two more of them. We 
gonna let that cool down for a bit. Let's get her done. put the final two tabs on here so now we're gonna figure out which one we need to put a pole in to line up and uh, let's weld those two tabs in Now we're gonna let our little rocket cool down one more time. And then we'll slap it back on there. And today's pretty well done, as you can see. So tomorrow, start making all the arms that are gonna stick out and connect to these nice little clamps that I've made a while ago. So. So that's going to do it for this first episode of the four color press build. If you want to see us finish this project, hit that subscribe button. If you like this project and if you're hyped for fresh prints, hit that thumbs up. And tune in next week for the earbag chair launch. And until next time, go out, be rad.